Hey guys, what is up? We're back again with another video and a new game. Before we get into that, I'm in Cutting Your Game. If you like this video, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, hit that share button up there. Well, then, too, um, and we'll get started with this new game, guys. It's called Life is Strange. Never played it. I heard uh, my, my one friend was playing it, so I might try it out. Uh, here we go, guys. New game. Mm. If you hear me yawn a lot, don't don't mind me, cause I only got like four hours of sleep for some reason. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, I was gonna play this game. So surreal. Called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that shh? I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I 
I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. <laughs> Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook. Or even... Sorry, Max. No more... And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. W-A-S-D. I'm not sure yes. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. And I want to represent Blackwell. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you. But life won't wait for you to play catch-up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Just getting you Welcome right. to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Like you have to pass some sort of test because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. It looks like she's been gone for months. Driving a car by the seaside. Watching the world from the brass. Yeah, I'm Mikey. Uh, Mikey copyrighted for this kind of music in the video. I never did it for my four hour play video. But that, uh, I don't want to set the world on fire. For some reason, I didn't cut it out. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. No one can tell where your heart is American girls like dollies With shiny smiles and plastic bodies I wish I had
they should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. What the hell? Did y'all just say that? Let's use this. Splash some water in your throat. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door closes, a window opens, or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you oh, get shit. that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh. Whoa! What the fuck? Oh, shit. How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Why Arvis? Can you give I me actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Keep it together, Max. Images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll notice this for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max 
as a gift. I know I'm not, I know I'm not dreaming this. As you all know, the it's real. Portrait has been popular I can tell. Since the early 1800s. Your generation. So I can go back in time. <coughs> Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the prospect? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after Realistic class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American Daguerreotype onward. The first American Daguerreotype. Oh, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <laughs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yes. Victoria, you still have to do your homework. Damn, this is weird. Even if you're submitting your I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography... Uh, yeah. I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on. Don't let me stop you. Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. E Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Oh, why is my camera doing that? There we go. Let's get out of here. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yo, 
Daniel, you remember that it's payday? It's those nerds. What's that got to do with Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do. Wowzer, it's happening again. I need a hammer to break it open. I get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! There's the hammer. Now, holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Throw me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I need a hammer to break it open. What the hell? You just picked up a hammer. Throw me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody... Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone, and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Leave Miss Caulfield alone, and please turn off You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm... Just a little worried about my future. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story?
You look a little stressed out. I just got sick in class. Uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. You look a little... Oh. I just saw Nathan. Mm. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. It's been fun hanging out with you. and playing all these games with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy all the content. And I hope it's satisfied you. And I hope you guys enjoy every video I uh, upload to YouTube for you guys. And I hope it entertains you because that's pretty much the point of my videos. Entertain people. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.